Alright, box should be warm. There's your foot pegs. There's what you rest your feet on. Watch the exhaust, it's hot. Um, I'll get on first and then you can get on. So I've got the bike. And well, obviously I'm going to be taking it easy. But I just want you to obviously hold me tight. Um, don't relax like you used to on the scooter because different acceleration in this. Um, put these on. I know they're probably miles too big for you. But don't want you hurting your beautiful hands. <laughs> They're huge, eh? Yeah, I don't really want them on. I know you don't want them on, but you have to have them on. Why? Because you're not a squid. If you come off, you will lose fingers. <laughs> I don't have to go to work. Then you don't have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I know they're too big, but it's better than nothing. But, like I said, I'm taking it easy. Oh, how are you guys? Oh, I've got my girlfriend on the back. Uh, used to ride with her on the back of the scooter, but you know, that was real casual. It was only a scooter. But um, I gave her a good sort of 10 minutes of tutoring and do's and don'ts. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of getting used to it as well. It's my first time riding with a pillion passenger on the back on the 300. So I've checked the air and the tyres and I'm just taking it easy. Uh, she's gripping me pretty tight right now, so it's um, obviously the brakes aren't going to work as good because we've got more weight. But um, it's good, you know, just got a pretty straight run here, not too many twisties, so can give her a better idea of, of leaning and, and weight and that sort of thing. I don't want her throwing us off leaning too much or not enough and getting us into trouble. Already I'm feeling a lot more pressure on my legs and arms because she's leaning on me. But that'll, that comes with practice. It's not worth pulling over and telling her to correct that. She'll get that in time. And I'm not sure where she's sitting as well. She might be... She might be sitting too far forwards, I'm not sure. Man, this bike feels so slow now. It feels like a two fit oh, probably feels, I wouldn't say a 125, it just feels like it's lost power. Lost um, pickup, you know. But this is good. Really hoping the rain stays away. And I'm hoping she enjoys it too, because if she does, I'll be bringing her out a lot more. See, any of you guys who, who love riding and you want to get out, you know, you work all week, long hours, you get home and you're too tired to sort of ride out in the afternoons, evenings, whatever. So you might go for a little ride or something, but y your weekends are your main riding time. Oh, I smell barbecue. Um, oh, it's nice. You know, like, you want to go for rides and you know, obviously your girlfriend or your wife or whatever, you know, she wants to spend time with you. She doesn't want you out on the bike while she's bored. So if you can do something that you guys share together, then that's half the battle, isn't it? Come on, left lane, brother. Go left lane. You know that. Yeah, that's it. today um, just because she's pushing my head forwards 
and it's because her helmet's hitting my helmet, it's getting pretty annoying. That and my nuts are getting crushed because she's like really not sitting back far enough. But I'll tell her all this stuff, you know, when I get off the bike, so she'll know for next time. I don't know if this is normal to have someone leaning on my back this much when it's pillion. She should be on the seat, I'm sure, because we've been riding all of um, 20 minutes now, and my nuts feel like pancakes, man. They are so squished. That's, that can't be normal, otherwise no one would ride like this. You'd be like, get lost, bitch. You're staying home. I'm going riding. I don't care what you do, but I'm not having my nuts made into freaking sandwiches just because you want to come for a ride. This can't be normal. Yeah, that's better. I pushed it back a bit. Yeah, that's way better. That's better, babe! How you going? Yeah, right. I thought my glass is going to fly off. <laughs> I keep moving forward, sorry. I'm yeah, I know. You've got to keep making sure you're back. It's well, just... I occasionally, when you're on a straight, move back, like, slightly. Not to tip the bike, but I don't know if you've been noticing it. Oh, I move back, or you do? No, I do. Okay. Have you been noticing it? Not really. I thought that was you sliding back. Slightly. It's, um... I do it, like, really slightly. Okay, well, that's good. Because uh, you've been crushing my nuts, eh? <laughs> I <laughs> know oh, it's a small seat, babe. Just put. Your, I can't reach. I've been grabbing your butt. I can't reach. How much space have you got? Just feel with your hand before the seat ends. Yeah, you got a bit. Yeah, that's what you're supposed yeah, to be sitting on. Stuff pushes me forward. I know, but you got to keep readjusting yourself. Don't move around a lot, but just. I know. I did it slightly. I know. That's cool. Um, and your helmet keeps pushing my head forwards, which is really annoying. I know it's because you got that shitty helmet on. But you just got to keep your head back a little bit. Yeah. Should we keep going a bit? Yeah, sure. Okay. She's grabbing me tight. should have been in third for that fence. Say this is bullshit slow. Yeah. <laughs> That's my girl, you're a speed freak already. This is what we have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, so I've had her on the back for like oh, half an hour now, and she's already going, oh my god, these cars are going so slow. <laughs> That's why I love her. She thinks like me. I couldn't stand a girl who wants to wrap herself in cotton wool her whole life. Never take a risk. <laughs> 